What is a gaming chair? No, seriously. What is a gaming chair? I'm sure you've seen them. Maybe you have them. It's this chair that looks like a bachelor totaled his Honda and brought the chair back home as a souvenir. Who wants to sit in a car chair in their home? Is it really that comfortable? Is it like $400 comfortable? So I asked all of these questions to you and some of you said yes and some of you said no actually it is a joke. Well guess what? Secret Lab has sent this to me. It's Titan gaming chair and they asked for an honest review. Well honest is all I know. That an extreme patty cake. Apparently there is much more to gaming chairs than meets the eye. For example, this one has a 54 centimeter seat base and it supports up to 195 centimeter tall and 130 kilograms weight. So it means it is like clothing. You need to get the one that is for you. Oh. It has larger diameter, 6 cm diameter wheels instead of 4.5. So just like that Honda, it has rims to talk about. And apparently these wheels are PU coated, which means they last longer and they don't scratch the surface. Has lumbar support and the foam in the chair is molded, not cut. What does that mean? They say it makes it more consistent and it lasts longer. Caution! Do not touch backrest recline ever while removing from the box. Also the material they used on the chair is polyurethane leather. Here are the instructions. It is adjustable. It is good for your posture. It is built so you can sit for long hours, which you shouldn't. You should get up every once in a while. I have a video about that too. Wow, okay. I mean, Jenna Marbles has one. Julian Solomita has one. PewDiePie has one. He actually has a customized chair. The comment section below. There are so many brands, so many models. It is a Game of Thrones, if you will. If not, a chair game. Okay, I'm done. So now let's put this chair together and decide if gaming chair is a phase or if it is something real. These are the wheels they were talking about. Now I've turned into a makeup channel. Wow. All right, now we're coming close to the end. Okay. All right, the moment of truth. <laughs> oh, no, it can't do that. This is as much as it goes. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, PewDiePie, PewDiePie. Oh, <laughs> what's up PewDiePie? Uh-uh. And 
and lumbar adjustment. Let's do the lumbar adjustment. It is here. Yep. 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 Let's test it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I never realized I can rest my head. I can rest my head. This is beautiful. And the pillow. The comment section pillow is soft and nice. Where does it go? Does it go here? For the next support, right? Because I whip I experienced whiplash. This is <laughs> this is really good. It's really not squeezing you into the chair. It is really comfortable. Doesn't it smell like a new car? Yeah. Ooh, feels like I'm in a car. Wait, yeah. give me give me the comment section pillow, please. We've been waiting for you. Okay, this is for the height. And then these are for the height of armrests. And then this is for back and forward like this. And then these little buttons help you bring the armrest in or out. So I've been sitting in this chair for a couple of hours now especially editing this video and I have to tell you that there's a big difference especially coming from my chair that I bought in 2013. This is very comfortable especially being able to just put your head back on the chair and edit that way is really good. Also one really clever thing is that when you lean back the armrests don't go up so when the armrests are going under the table, when you lean back, they stay under the table. The chair doesn't sink in and it's very comfortable. Very good. All these adjustments, all of them serve a nice purpose and they work. I like it. Now it's time to finish the video and upload it. The functions and the comfort aside, Titan also looks pretty cool. Red stitches add a nice accent to the chair. I guess the question here now is why do they call these chairs gaming chairs? Well actually most companies like Secret Lab don't, they just call them chairs. But I think when it comes to naming these chairs something like Kleenex slash tissue issue is happening. So hereby I shall rename them editing chairs. Well. Thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that subscribe button. I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen. Hit that subscribe button and play Ding Dong Ditch with the bell next to it and join the world domination. And please let me know what you think about the gaming chairs in the comment section below. And until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves and hoşçakalın.